Hey everyone, it's Mike with Play More Games. We're back for turn two of Crusade and Revolution. Um, so, we start with action round one, uh, which is the nationalist turn. So, uh, let's see what we've got. I've already drawn my cards here. Ooh, this is a this is a good one. End of the straight blockade. This will let us send reinforcements to Majorca. Um, it'll let our uh, Army of Africa arrive. Uh, reinforcements arrive sooner. Um, the third round ones, anyway. Uh, it is turn uh, two, so uh, doesn't affect this these turns, this turns, but that probably one will probably want to play right away. I haven't drawn the Republican hand yet, as you can see, because um, I know I am playing single player, but uh, I think we might lead off with this because. Um, if the Republican plays disembark at Majorca, we might want to uh, reinforce the island. So, um, let's see. Mm. Yeah, we'll definitely want to play the Axis Military Aid event as well. And then we'll probably try to play the rest of these for operations. That is, of course, contingent on what the Republican player can throw at us, uh, which is me. So here we go. We'll flip control. Um, basically what that says is if there's a port in the med that the nationalists control, they can use it. And um, Republicans may only um, may not uh, SR beyond the Mediterranean. So nothing looping around Portugal, nothing like that. Okay. So that's flipped. We'll have to remember about the reinforcements, um, and that does cause the Republicans to take their first morale hit. If we go back and look at our charts here, um, yep. So if we can drive them down to 15 by the end of turn four, we'll automatically win as the nationalist. Um, so let's just take our little handy mnemonic, put that there. Um, Republican decks. So draw a pile. So we didn't get disembark at Majorca, which is too bad. We'll definitely want to play this, get this out of our hands. Let's play Soviet military aid. We definitely want to open up that flow of reinforcements as soon as possible. It's a nice, it's a nice event. Um, G 
just to give you guys my thoughts on what, what we're doing here. Um, that is something that maybe we should have used on the first turn and chucked it into chucked it into the redraw because we're guaranteed to get it again before um, the end of the War of the Columns phase. Um, so, I mean, different paths, you know, you kind of respond to the game as it develops. Now, unfortunately for the Nationalist, I mean, they don't know it, um, but they don't have anyone in a port for them to swing over to Mayorka, so that probably should have been a consideration. Um, so we'll want to do that on this turn. But the first thing we'll do, well, actually, we can do that. We can accomplish that by bringing in this reinforcement at Cadiz. It's not a bad idea. It solves a natural problem that we have. Um, of course, we still have one in reserve that we can bring out directly to Mayorka. Um, should we so choose. All right, um, but yes, let's look at a card. Hmm. Should we go card for card? Or should we, as the nationalists, heed my own words and play this for ops? Hmm. Very interesting. Um, yeah, let's let's throw a die. Um, sometimes I do this. Like I know what I would do, but you know I'm trying to kind of uh, game out two separate personalities here. Um, so let's go even, we'll play the event, odd, we'll use it for operations, or odd, we'll use it for something else, even event. All right, so odd, we'll use it for something else. All right, and uh, we don't necessarily have to use it right now, but... Let's go. Since we're not going to play it as the event, we can play this card pretty safely. Let's go operations. Whoops. And uh, we're just going to do two moves, so I won't bother with the markers. Um, we'll go there. Uh, actually, that's probably a bad idea. We don't want to leave. Hmm. Let's see about sending these two at this hex again, or space again. Now, uh, on my last video, um, the designer did point out that I made, and I do want to issue this correction. Um, when I attacked last turn, you can see I did take one loss. Um, I attacked with eight, and attacking beyond seven is kind of pointless. Um, now, however, taking that loss from attrition, um, Uh, it does make sense to attack with both of those spaces. Um, so we don't have... We could play this as a CC card, but if we do, then we wouldn't have any held cards unless we took a one-op. 
um, three, four, five, six, right. Um, but we want, we want to make some progress. It's an important, important uh, hinge point in the defense. We've already chucked a bunch of resources in there as the Republican player, including the position. So let's look at Republican combat cards. So they have this one for tanks, but they don't have any tanks. This one is interesting, though. Because they get to fire on the core unit table, implement their results <laughs> before the nationalist player uh, determines their fire table. Um, hmm. Let's take a look at that table. Um, wow. Compare that to the division table. Yeah, let's do it. This reminds me of the um, Kamal card in uh, Paths of Glory. And like Kamal, it um, can only be used once. And a lot of times, just the threat of having it in your deck is, uh, is good, but... Um, I'm seeing a chance to kind of mess up another Africa army uh, unit, um, maybe get lucky and hold the position. So with all that being said, I'm probably going to roll a one here. Folks, you might think that I'm magic, but there was a 16% chance of that happening. We have to give it up to math. Um, there was a 16% chance of that happening, so it seems fair that it did. Um, but naturally, with the loss priority, and let me just double check, but yeah, yeah, it's one. That's <laughs> that's a damn shame. Um, loss priority is on the Army of Africa unit, so we do flip it. So now they are at six, and they are shifted twice to four. So four on division is a three and I think that's gonna be good enough for a two. I don't know. Or yes. With the card it'll be good enough for a two. So now we flip two and the loss difference between the two of them is one. So now we have to decide whether to take another loss or to retreat. So that really was kind of a um, a disappointing uh, result for the Republican uh, player for sure. Um, so let me just make sure um, make sure I understand that. Uh, Yeah, let's let's bump off one of these reduced units to cancel the retreat. Um, we don't want to give away the position or the mountain um, without a fight. Um, we do have uh, one division in our reserve that we can kind of bring them back out. So this goes to discard. Um, this stays on the table, uh, the virtual table, uh, since the attack was successful. So now let's do just that. Let's do... Um, let's do some SR. We still have the minus one penalty. Um, is there anything beyond moving that out that we would want to do, or moving that here, I should say, that we would want to do. Um. 
I guess what we could do if we brought a police unit here we could attack with two three Excuse me. Actually, what we could do is we could bring a unit back from Valencia and Barca to Toledo. Um, but we would have to play a three, which is one of these two. Um, These are good questions. These are tough questions, and these are why I like uh, card-driven games. Um, okay. So let's roll the die. Um, four, five, six. I will play a three. No. So we're gonna play a two, and let's play this one um, because if we can play, get this played and out of the deck, I think that'll be beneficial in the long term. Uh, so what we will do is we will just bring that down to here and we will mark as our second action SR. We'll move that to discard. That was back to the uh, nationalist. Um, Let's get this one done. Uh, we'll play this for one VP. Uh, where are you? Oh, there you are. One down, 12, or eight VP, 12 to go for nationalist victory. All right, so back to the Republican player. Just go back. Yeah. I should have gone to eliminated units. Yeah, not. I think I deleted it. All right. So we did that. And then and then we played this for SR. And we dropped it there. Yeah. And now we were trying to figure out our third. Or nope, we did just play that. We moved it down to eight. Now we're figuring out what we're going to do with the Republican player. Um, let's play that as the event. Okay. 
get the trench marker out there. So this is action round four. Could have sworn that there was a special rule about using strategic redeployment with these African army units. You know what it is, I think, I think, I'm thinking of a special rule. Yeah, I think that's a special rule. Um, Here's what we're going to do. We are We're going to take this what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to take the defection card. We're going to do some, we're going to do two strategic redeployments. So we're going to send one here. And we're going to take that unit. And we're going to send it here as well. Action four is the Republican player. Let's uh, play this for replacements. So we'll go. It was uh, three Republican and one Soviet. Now it is action round five, so we'll drop this back in Cadiz. And let's see. Alright, 
let's go operations. So we'll move this guy here for two. Move these here. Uh, that'll be our second operation. Um, and then Try and do a position on Majorca. And they get it. Ah, that's all of them. That's uh, three. And then. Can we find one more? How about the uh, Puerto de la Espana, Espina. What am I thinking? Those are Republicans. Um, how about Leon? Yeah. Leon gets one as well. Okay. Uh, so then we go to the Republican player. And we could play the tanks. And maybe that's not such a bad idea. Yeah. We'll play the tanks, so they have to go to a port. And Valencia looks pretty good. Maybe we can try one, two, three, four, five. Pushing down through the mountains, that would be interesting. Um, and then one in the, oops, that's the nationalist. Uh, yeah. Yeah, in the reserve box. All right. <clears throat> so now we're going to play this for operations, and this time. I probably will get the markers out since it might get a little uh, confusing. I say that and then I click around like I don't know what I'm doing. But I do know what I'm doing. We're attacking. over and uh, hmm. fortunately the only unit that could maybe come over and help would be one of these but don't want to weaken that
mean, I guess we could do this. I don't see any problems posed by that. One, two, three, shifted, makes it two, two to one. Eh. I don't know that we want to. Yeah. That's not bad. Honestly, if you're the nationalist, you probably want the Republican to do some attacks and spend up some steps. All right. So let's do this attack here. It's simple five to one. We'll roll attacker, then defender. All right, so five on the division table, we rolled a two, that's a one. And then defender, uh, was on the one and they rolled a four, so it's a one to one result. Not off to a good start. All right, we're attacking here again. Four, five, six to two. And then it's four to two now. We'll play our CC card. So four, uh, attacker, four, that is modified to two, and our stubborn defenders, two, they roll a five. So that means they get a one, so it's a two to one. Um, so again, we have to take the loss from the Air Af Africa units, they're non-replaceable for one, um, but then we deal uh, two, um, and eliminate one to cancel the retreat. It's the end of the turn, so we'll send the to the discard. Um, and then here. It's a nice big attack, six uh, against one, uh, so five against one. So nationalist first, five, or yep, five, five, that is two, and one, four is one. Naturally, we will advance. All right. I'm deleting shit. Part of my language again. I think I am just getting in the habit of doing it for the cards that I also doing it for the units. And the thing about the number of divisions uh, is that it's very, very precise and it's very balanced. Um, at the start, so even even losing one is kind of a big deal. All right. So what are we going to do? Well, let's look at our hand. We did say we wanted to get this out. Uh, 
do want to save that for next turn. All right. Well, let's just do it. Republican morale goes back up to 26. All right. So that's the end of the turn. Um, we should have done the supply segment, but no one is out of supply. So we can go directly into the other steps. So let's run it down. Um, there are no victory point changes or morale updates in the status phase. There's no automatic victory on turn two or three for that matter. Um, so then replacements. So this is one, that's one. Well, first let's take care of this one. So that's one and a half. Um, uh, two and a half. Oh, forgot to take his loss. Three and a half, and then four. Nationalist has none, which is fine because pretty much the only units that they can replace are, or well, they don't have any units they can replace. All their losses are, unfortunately, on their best units. Um, okay. So then, then yeah. That's that's it. We can go to the next turn, um, and we'll do that now. So it's October of thirty six, um, and let's deal some cards. So the nationalists will require seven cards. Um, let's do this. All right. So there's only five here. And we'll draw two more. That's uh, not great. I'm pretty, this is a pretty poor hand. Um, low ops value. Um, we definitely want to play this card. Um, that gives us three Republican morale over the course of the game, so we definitely want to play this. Um, a Republican attack is canceled, that's nice. Can't use this for the event yet. Can't use this unless it's against the tank. Um, can't play this at all now. So that card is just stuck in our hand for the rest of the game. Uh, uh, this is a bunch of junk, honestly. But we do get a new Army of Africa unit since we ended the blockade early. And uh, let's see. We'll start with that. Three, four. That's that's two to two, and that's not good. Uh, honestly, I think what we'll do is we'll go one. Uh, let's actually we'll pick this back up. We'll go one there, and then one in the north here. So 
that's five, shifted to four, four to two. All right, so let's draw some Republican cards and we're locked in with that attack by virtue of drawing uh, cards here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay. We got to get this one out. Um, here's the Mayorker card. Uh, you know, it's like, what do you want to do? play this, it'll let us play that, and that brings out a lot of good units. This just doesn't seem, I don't know, I don't think we can actually take Mallorca. We do have a tank queued up and ready to go, though. Um, dang. Alright, let's start with some SR and let's go let's go with international brigades um, so we can do three and boy howdy wouldn't you know it we have three um, Three units here, so let's go one, two, um, leave it there in case we do want to go from Mallorca. I don't know, I'm kind of kind of back and forth on it, honestly. Um, so that's two, but we can bring this uh, police unit and let's let's drag it over here. All right, so SR. And the first one they did was for ops. Okay. So back to the nationalists. Um, let's bring out our last Africa unit. Alright, so let's go to again. Wait, hold up. <laughs> I never rolled this attack. I dealt my cards and then took my turn. Real genius level stuff. Um, okay. So it's uh, 4 to 2. And we had no cards to play. It's 4 to 2. Attacker, defender. Um, so attacker rolled 2. Defender rolled one. So that's deleted. Um, here to hold the hold the position 
Actually, what we'll do is we'll send this police unit back, and we will... I know it's a little cheap, but that's what we'll do. We'll SR that unit over instead. Alright, so now, now it is the Nationalist turn, second round. Um, and what can I say? I'm reasonably confident about winning this battle. So let's let's keep uh, let's keep at it. So we'll play three ops card and we'll do this attack again and then we'll go one, two. Uh, shucks. and then we'll attack here. All right, so here up first, seven to two, attacker, defender, so seven, five, defender, two. Um, so that's three to one. So one of these is eliminated, the other is flipped. So it will retreat two spots and we will definitely advance. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, let me make sure rate of advance because I think this game is one of, yeah, I think if they're totally eliminated, they may only enter the vacant space. Got it. All right, that was a pretty good card play for the Nationalists. All right, Republican now, well, they've got a problem. Because they have enough units, and let's just game out here. They could go one, two, Oh, well, if they do that, they're kind of, I mean, they're in danger of isolating themselves if they do that, but the counterpoint is, is that there is a, there is a problem. Um, so what do you do when there is a problem? You try to create a problem somewhere else. So if I play Disembark in Majorca, for one, SR extra units over for two, and then attack, that's three turns. But the Nationalist has nothing that they can do. They have no units that they can send over there. None. All right, let's do it. Okay. R eleven. Yes. Oh, I can't send those tanks over. So back to the nationalist. Here's 
here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and link the fronts. So we'll attack Caceres and Zafra to Arida. Republicans have no CC they can play. So this is, well, actually we don't really need. We can attack with this cav unit instead. Otherwise, like uh, like before, we're throwing too many units at it. Um, yeah, so, Trujillo. So attacker defender seven. One. Uh, so that is three to one. So that goes to eliminated. One of the Africa units are eliminated. But we will advance, and that represents linkage of the fronts. So now, um, let me double check. I don't know that that is worth anything beyond canceling the one spot, uh, one attack. So now there is no restriction on how many units can or cannot attack, which is really good news for an offensive in the north. So that was action three. So now we're gonna do some more uh, Republican SR so we do armored trucks so we're going to send police unit there and we're going to send this tank unit here See if we can hold these spaces. Okay, so back to the nationalists. Um, You know, all of a sudden attacking those tanks doesn't seem very enticing.
All right, let's try. Let's try attacking from Huesca and Lasinia against uh, Sarinina. All right, so it's just the three to two. So attacker, defender. So attacker, three, roll to five, two, roll to three, so it's two to one. So each of these take a loss. And then we'll take our loss here with our police unit. So then, as the Republican, um, we probably should see this card again, but we have a lot of units that we need to get up into fighting shape. So we're going to spend this for replacements. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Nationalist really doesn't have that concern. Um, I guess. I guess we could play something small. Let's try. Let's do this one. We'll grab two nationalist RP, and uh, if we have leftovers, that's great. If not, I guess that's good. Strictly speaking. All right. Um, let's see. So Republican, let's play this for operations. And we are going to attack here here and uh, we'll attack here all right so this attack first this is four to two so attacker and now we can we can do the armor DRM. Um, actually, let's just play the card. That's a good idea. So three, four against this. Uh, so four plus one against two. So the four plus one. Uh, so that is modified to five, so that's two against the two. They rolled a four, 
is one. So this is eliminated. It does one damage parting. Um, we will not advance. Um, so we'll leave that out. And then here, three, four, five against three. Um, should we do the armor DRM? Let's find the rule for it. take a look at the five so that would pretty much give us that would give us a pretty good shot All right let's uh, let's do it we'll risk it um, yeah we'll risk it so attacker plus one <laughs> didn't need it defender so it is three losses to the defenders Three, three is one. Uh, let's see. So it actually kind of works out. So it does have a first loss requirement. However, since we can't exactly meet the two, uh, we'll flip one of these instead. Um, over here, they take three, which is, I have got to stop doing that. Everything. Now we could advance, um, but best not. And then over here, um, the nationalists will cancel the attack. Or, yeah, they will cancel the attack. So we'll just go like that. So that stays out for them in case they want to attack again. So. Oh boy, does the nationalist player have issues now? They are kind of strung out there. Um, they've lost quite a few of their units. Republicans are in a good position. But... Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Republicans might have an advantage, but it's not like they can exactly, they can't exactly press it. Um, because doing so would open an opportunity for them somewhere else. So I kind of want to like try this attack here and threaten to outflank, see what kind of response that would get from the Republicans. So maybe let's do that and yeah, let's just do the one up here. Maybe I should do more, but. All right, so attacker. 
defender. <laughs> Alright, so attacker has four, and they rolled a two, so that's one. Defender has one, and they rolled a five, so that's one, so it's one to one. Kind of not good for them. Um, now, let's just add up pretty quickly. So that's one, two, three, four, and a half, five, six, and a half, seven, eight. Uh, we have seven RP. Yeah, let's go for this. So it's going to be two to two. Attacker, defender. So that is one and one. So that is the end of that turn. Um, so let's go through, I'll move the turn to marker to turn four. Let's go through and we'll spend our replacement points. So first we'll go with the Republicans. So first we'll repair stuff that's on the map. One or half, one, two, And a half, three, four, and a half. Let's see, five and a half, six and a half, seven. That is all seven. And they needed it. The Nationalists kind of bled them out. Um, Nationalist has two. So naturally, Majorca. So that's one and a half. Yeah. That's everything. So the Nationalist effort has really sputtered out. Um, I really thought I could force my way through this, this space here, and I probably should not have. I should have put enough there to counter any potential attack, and then did what I tried to do here, which is force this pass, or go around it. However, we have linked the front, so we can unleash more attacks up here, um, and some of those nice access cards are going to be coming back up so hopefully we get some replacements um, we're only two turns away from the start of mobilization so they're certainly not out of it the uh the nationalists it's just the pretty uh pretty disappointing start for them that's for sure okay well uh this is mike uh Thanks for staying tuned for a uh, episode here. Um, we'll leave it here. We'll pick it up soon. Um, we'll do turns four and five, and we'll get to mobilization. So thanks again for watching. Have a good one.